hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video so this is part or last part of our page rest api tutorial and in this video guys we're going to continue uh, working with our function delete okay so we have added this function before or from the previous video so public function delete and we have set up the query to delete the record from our database we have uh, prepared the statement and then we also have the mechanism to clean the data so as you can see and then uh, this right uh, this part right here is binding the id parameter to our query and in this part is to execute the actual query and if there is an error so we should be printing or the error here and guys the next step is to create another file here under our api so new file and then this should be um, delete that php okay and in here we're going to add some logic and add some lines and and, and i think we could just copy what we have in our update that php and as you can see here we have um the code or lines of code for our update so Let's go ahead and copy all this and paste it in our delete that page free file. So in here we're gonna change um, a couple of things. So, so for example the allow methods. So instead of using put, it should be delete right there. And of course initializing our API by using the initialize that PHP. Instantiate the post class by using this particular line and supplying the database connection that we have configured with our initialize that php and then of course we're getting the data that uh, that has been posted by the user or by the request so as you can see we are um, getting the data by using the code and file get contents and php input so i think other information like just like the category id the author and the body and of, of course the title is not needed here because we're only concerned with the ID that has been passed by the user or the request itself. So we're setting the attribute ID by getting the data ID just like that. And as you can see, we have created the delete function. So we're just going to update our delete.php instead of using update function because this is a feature for delete. It should be of course the delete function there and change the message so instead of updated it should be post um, deleted okay and of course this one will be post not deleted so I think that's all for this file delete that page p. so we'll just save the post that page p. and of course the delete that page p. so we'll try real quick this particular feature with our postman API so let's go ahead and open up our postman software and try to check if our uh, feature really works as i've said guys from my pre uh, previous videos uh, if you're working with an api and um, you're trying to get around or to um, be comfortable with an api be familiar with how api works so postman software can really help you with all the activities that you want with an API. So basically, we have read that PHP, we have uh, read single, we also have the update that PHP. So if you try to run or uh, read that PHP, we should be able to get all the records for coming from our database, as you can see here. And of course, we're dealing with delete. Uh, Maybe we could just create a, a certain record for now. Or maybe we'll just delete a certain post uh, just like this one. ID equals to 5. So we'll try that. ID is 5. So we'll just copy this and then create a new tab here in our Postman software. Uh, make sure that the method is delete. And of course, the, the file that we want is the delete.php. And of course, we're going to supply the ID 
of the record that we want to delete and as you can see we have uh, the ID is 5 okay so we're just going to grab that and set the ID equals to 5 just to check if we can really delete the post with the ID 5 so send so we have an error here let's try to trying to get property of a non uh, object so line 17 of our delete that php line 17 post id and data id so oh so we're getting the id from data id and as you can see we're using php input so instead of supplying uh, directly the id here it should be uh, declared in the body of the request so let's uh, try that uh, localhost uh, php yeah let's go to our body of our post and then raw okay so in here we're going to supply the id instead of um directly setting the id equals here so this will be id and then of course um the value which is five so, okay so send the request so what happened as you can see we have here the message post deleted so we should not be able to or we won't be able to view or uh, get the data that is that has the id of five so try that so as you can see the record that has the id of five is now gone okay so basically we're just um deleting the record by supplying the parameter in our request body so i think uh, that concludes our PHP REST uh, API tutorial and as you can see we have fully functions or we have now the full function of our PHP REST API so we have the create delete uh, read single read that PHP and of course the update so if you want because as you can see there is also the category for our uh, post so we have the cut uh, the post and then the category of our post so we could also create another file for our category to be able to have the uh, read update the read single and also the delete function for our categories but it, i think it's a, it is pretty easy because the category has only two or three attributes the id and then the name and of course the created at um attribute so you can if you want you can create it on your own you can start by uh, creating the read that php uh, update that php for this particular uh, model category that php so uh, i think for now i'll just guide you for the single or read that function for our category that php so we'll, we're going to create another class for this so i'm just going to copy right here and then here so where's our get there category that php and instead of using the post it should be category so this is for our category table so we have constructor that takes in the db connection and of course the read and we need to close the category class right there okay and instead of using the post table we should be able to or we should use the category category table in our database and of course, as, as I've said, there are only three 
properties for our uh, category. So the ID, the name, and of course the created ad. Created ad. Okay. Okay. So I think this is um, categories instead of category. Categories. There you go. And created that. And then we have constructor with DB parameter or the connection parameter. And in here, instead of having this join query, we can just uh, uh, create or query all the attributes from our table name categories. And we don't want or we don't need this particular part right here. So select all from categories and then we're executing the query. There you go. And in here in our API, we can just say uh, read all categories that PHP. And of course, we can just copy the code that we have here in our post.read.php. So that will be read all the categories and instead of using post here we should say category okay and then passing the db connection and then reading or what is the method so i think we also use read right so read okay and then we have the ID, the name, and of course, I think we only have create add in our table, in our database. And you can just remove this, create add, okay, and created that, it should be created that. So basically, we can just delete all others and we should be able to see our categories, okay? So categories, no categories found if there is no record found for our categories. So let's do that and try that with our Postman API or Postman software, okay? And try to check if we have a functional read for our uh, categories so here new tab new tab there you can copy this and make sure it's another request api and we have the file read all underscore categories and then it should be get and then send so we have an error class category not found let's try that because we haven't initialized our class category in our initialize.php so let's do that with this line category.php and save that and go back to postman software and send Undefined variable created at in all categories 26. That's because, uh huh, 26 created at. So it should be create at. Okay. And then send. So there you go. As you can see, we can now read the categories from our database so guys it's your turn now to make the other functions like the read the update uh, reading of a single one and of course deleting a single record from our database so guys that concludes our php rest api tutorial and i hope you enjoyed this series and uh, if you're new here in our youtube channel and you want content about programming so I am inviting you to subscribe and press the notification bell so you will get updated whenever we have a new upload regarding programming.